The X Interview, hosted by Global X from the Skoll World Forum. This is Matis Walkernagel, the Executive Director of Global Footprint Network. And this is Susan Burns, the Managing Director of Global Footprint Network. And we're also married. <laughs> well, just thinking about my son, our son is eight years old. And um, just to think about the changes that are happening on Earth today in terms of population growth, resource consumption, the squeeze that everybody's feeling, the, the conflicts that are happening, happening around the world. And if we don't really handle this issue of resource constraints, um, by the time he's you know, 40 years old, the world's going to be a very different place. So, you know, a lot, a lot of times people think our work is very abstract. And you can't really take a picture of, um, a, of a cute panda or, you know, a child um, when you talk about our work. Our work is very data-driven, and yet it's so much about life and what we really hold precious. Um, so, yeah. yeah. When, when I was born, or Susan was born, humanity used about half the planet's capacity. And uh, when our son was born, we used about a planet and a quarter. That means it took about a year and three months to regenerate what humanity used in that year when Andre was born. Mm -hmm. By the time he's my age, most likely, if the trends continue, even as the most conservative projections of the United Nations project, we would be using twice the planet's capacity, and that's physically impossible. And that's mm -hmm. our collective dream. So we always talk about, oh, it's about future generations. It's no longer about future generations. It's about even my life, and it's my son's life. So it becomes very specific and, and, and very fast. And I think that's what we're trying to bring to people's attention. And we can use business tools. We have dealt with much longer term problems before, but somehow we think, oh, resource is about long term future. But we can succeed. So it's not about looking at doomsday scenarios. It's rather doomsday to believe, oh, we can do nothing about it. But actually, it takes such simple steps, like to say, how many resources do we actually have? How many do we use? And uh, can we live within the budget that nature provides us? We think yes. There's a lot of environmentalists that have known for a long time that we're up against limits. But the, this kind of thinking hasn't been um, very common among sort of leading economists or business leaders, people at the World Economic Forum, et cetera, et cetera. So we're, we're, very, we're quite neutral, actually. We're not left or right um, or you know, advocating on the part of anybody in particular. Um, and, but what we're, we're trying to do is, get, is to sharpen up people's thinking. Because if we don't sharpen up our thinking, humanity will hit a wall. We bring it back down to one simple question. What do all these resource trends of using more than one planet mean for a country's competitiveness or for a company's success? So now we are in a new century. In the past we could ignore resource constraints. If we do that in the future, we'll be toast. GlobalX is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.